not know where the road is going to take me. I hope not here because this is very steep. Today I decided to stay here. I did barely, I would say, 25 kilometers today. I left a city that I really didn't like. And I was, this morning, I was even a little bit upset about staying there because once when I hit the road and I did about three kilometers, I arrived to the other city which looked quite nice and there was a camping site over there and I got very upset of not staying actually there but to stay in the other place. Well, whatever. In the morning the coastline didn't look so bad as yesterday when I arrived. I, was, I think that I was just like, it was a real cultural shock that I had yesterday. I was and I was not expecting it. Basically, in the morning when I woke up, I went immediately searching for the internet and uh, I had very nice coffee in one of the bars to check uh, an accommodation for my next destination because this is actually the biggest issue for me right now when I don't, do not have internet because usually I'm planning one day ahead, so now I will have to go and plan at least two or three days ahead because I just cannot do it this this way. I, every time I search for the internet place, we'll see. The guys behind me, they recognized me because of the bicycle and everything. And it was my campsite neighbors. Started talking with them and I found out they are actually the treasure hunters. So they are here to go all over the beach and they get into the water and they actually treasure hunt uh, with that metal detector trying to find the lost items like coin euros that in the end when they polish they can still use it and of course some of the jewelry as well one of the things about today's ride that i liked was actually that amazing magnificent view once when i reached the top of the hill the view was just wow like a postcard and then after that uh, i was wondering uh, if my road because the only road i saw was like very narrow very steep but i i didn't see many cars and since on that uh, national road there were many cars passing by me i was actually wondering if that's going to be the road that i'm going to take but still finally when i reached one of the points i realized that that road is actually going uphill to some of the urban areas the national road is going through the tunnels so i crossed about three I think it was three tunnels that actually brought me on the other side of the mountain um, and there was this amazing bridge actually that was built up and apparently it looked like there is at least the construction for the tunnel maybe there used to be a tunnel before over there but it was all closed another interesting thing that i saw today was actually quite a rare friends couple let's call it uh, on the beach I saw a swan together with a duck surrounded by so many of this um, what is it called in English the seabird now I'm here in Kalpe and I like it it's quite nice I mean it is touristy in this part of the city there are a lot of uh, hotels as well but uh, all in all it's not so bad as it was yesterday. Other interesting thing that I saw here in Kalpe was actually some Roman ruins and they are actually directly digged into the stone on the coastline which makes a little swimming pool. What is believed that they were for is to keep the fish alive probably after the hunting or 
they were just uh, considered as a pools uh, because there is a structure of about uh, six of them all together. So basically what is said that uh, the structure have been like building, it's been very expensive and like keeping them up, clean and all of that, that was also very expensive. This part of the coastline it seems that all of the campsites are pretty expensive and as well they charge for the internet apart so i'm already saying i'm really sorry for not updating my website for not updating my youtube channel not updating my instagram because i just don't have internet and i'm going to grab internet probably somewhere here in one of the coffee shops take care safe travels and see you tomorrow